Alrighty, in this clip we're taking a look at two recent acquisitions in way of Asher cuts. And the diamond on the left is a carat and three quarter, is an HVS1 uh, Asher we got in. And to the right is a 190 IVS1. Um, two really good looking stones. Both of these have really good looking A set results. Um, but I do have a favorite between the two. Okay, whereas I'm seeing more bright reflections out of this 190 than I do this uh, one this one and three quarter not that this one and three quarter is a bad stone um, you know it's it's uh, it is an attractive asher too um, but I mean if I have to give a nod to one I, th I think I'd have to give the nod to the 190 you know the step patterning in it is beautiful the optics are beautiful um, not that the step patterning in this <laughs> carrot and three quarter is bad. And you know what? If you decide for the carrot and three quarter, it still has optics that are um, are very good for an Asher cut and that we would back with our lifetime policies as well. So you got a one a carrot and three quarter HVS one versus a one ninety uh, IVS one. So uh, here is the two of those side by side. We're going to look now at their sparkle scintillation in a dimmer spotlighting. But so far, my personal nod has to go to the 190. You know, you got the size factor, the price factor, um, and it really is. It's a it's a beautiful stone. They're beautiful. All right, here we are in dim spotlighting, and um, you know, you're getting you. This is where we're going to see see the, the broader reflections. Here we're seeing them in the diamond on the left now. Okay, and then there you see them in the diamond on the right. Okay, so right there too. So, you know, both of these uh, have it. They both have good sparkle insofar as Asher cuts are concerned. Okay, remember the brightness, contrast, fire, and sparkle of an Asher is going to be completely different from a brilliant cut. Um, but still pretty nonetheless. Okay. Now we're going to look at the um, fire and sparkle, a little bit stronger spotlighting. Okay, and here are these two beauties as they dance under the spotlighting. And as you can see, really uh, awesome reflective abilities. Uh, again, my nod would go to the uh, 190 IVS1 in the spotlighting as well, ultimately. I mean, you can see more action right here in the face-up view. As, uh, as we look at them head on. Okay, not that the 170 is, not, the, not, the, not that the carat and three quarter is dead. Okay, not that the H is dead. That's a, still a nice stone too. But um, look at that 190 light up. Uh, it's really, that's a, that's a butt kicker. <laughs> that's a good one. So that's where my, uh, if you know, if I was gonna drop the buckos, that's where it would be, and we're gonna put. Uh, we're definitely gonna have our lifetime policies on that one too, and um, and the price actually that we quoted you in email was with our lifetime policies, so you're you're set to go, if that's gonna be the uh, one that we ultimately choose with. All right, but they're they're two nice stones, okay. But yeah, look at that that 190. Woo, that's just fun to look at. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for your patience and uh, when I get the, for having me get this video to you, and uh, I hope this is helpful.